Hello, this is going to be a general love reading for all signs for the collective. We are going to see the type of love energies and where they are shifting for your twin flame soulmate connection, twin soul connection, whatever you want to call it, um, whatever journey you're on. Whether you're on the soulmate journey or the twin flame journey, you will know. Um, as you know, we are in the middle of a Capricorn full moon. And that is on, what, July 14th. And I am filming this on the day of the Capricorn full moon. It's raining outside. So if that's you here, drop, drop, it's rain. So we're going to see what sort of energies are surrounding the love, I guess the love energies right now, and we're going to go from there. So, um, what deck? I need to get my tarot deck. One sec. All right, guys, I had to run and grab a tarot deck. I forgot. <laughs> I have all of these decks, and I forgot to get a tarot deck. All right, so I got my key card. Oh. That was weird. My camera did a funny thing. I have my key card back there, which is, you know, my main guide that chose me. If you guys watched my, if you guys haven't watched my 7-7 video, then please, by all means, go and watch that because then you'll know what I'm talking about as far as Anubis choosing me as, <sighs> I don't know, I guess as his um, student or whatever. So, <clears throat> but I didn't have a tarot deck. I had all of these decks and I didn't have a tarot deck. All right. So I'm tapping now into the energy of the collective soulmate twin flame cycle. This is not going to resonate with everyone, but it's going to resonate with the ones that are watching this video. If you are drawn to this video, then it's for you. You are a vibrational match to my energy. Yay. All right, first card that flew out is the Five of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. So somebody is seriously feeling like they have been left out in the cold. They're feeling no connection right now whatsoever with their person. It feels ooh, very <clears throat> um, you can't even see that card. Can you see that card? It feels very there feels <laughs> better than nothing so they feel very um shut out and your person may be being very cold and now i say your person but your guys's energy is interchangeable so put yourself when you where you fit in it could be you know this could be your energy or this could be your person's energy either way someone is feeling very um abandoned i guess Left out in the cold. Um, feeling like maybe their person isn't caring about them. Um, or, you know, maybe this is your energy. Maybe you just don't give a crap right now. <laughs> Whatever. Your guys' energies are so interwoven. I cannot tell the difference. This is Three of Cups. So, you know, this is the card of uh, parties. Parties weddings engagements birthday celebrations it also could represent third party energy so it could represent you know your person being involved with someone else so i i don't know let's pull another card and see why do we have this three of cups here please what is going on i'm sorry for any background noise it is raining my children are awake and you know Explain three of cups, please. The moon. Hmm. So. If your person is involved with someone else and there is a third party energy, I feel like they are hiding either you or they're hiding how involved they are with this third party energy. 
Now, to me, it doesn't feel like an like um, an energy of infidelity. So, for example, I don't feel like your person is cheating on you, okay? But it does feel like there is a third party energy. Whereas like maybe it's a co-parenting energy, maybe it's an energy of someone, an ex that they just can't seem to get away from. Maybe their ex is a narcissist and, you know, they're putting demands on them and just making their life miserable. And so I feel like they feel the need to hide the connection that they have with you from, you know, this person who is possibly you know toxic in their life there is an energy of they're hiding their feelings for you it was just five 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 on my camera so there's my confirmation that things will be changing and shifting for you soon um big happy changes but so as i was saying um there's an energy of maybe needing to hide how they feel about you like so basically this as there's an energy of them trying to hide that they have deeper feelings for you so for example if they were you know co-parenting with someone they would say yeah well this person is just my friend and or you know or they would say that to the the narcissist you know ex this person is just my friend and they don't want to show that they have deeper feelings possibly because they're worried about how this person will react if that makes sense okay let's do one more card what is going to be the outcome Ooh. oh my gosh two cards flew out so we have the ace of cups and the four of wands wow so and you saw me shuffling so to move these cards over ace of cups four of wands can you see those okay that was a little crooked ace of cups four of wands so i asked what was going to be the outcome of this energy of them sort of leaving you out to the cold and the, the funny thing is, I feel like the reason they could have left you out in the cold is because of this third party toxic energy. They felt the need to hide you from, you know, whoever this third party energy is. And I think it's because they were worried of how this person was going to react. But this card right here, the Ace of Cups and this card is showing me they can't really hold back their feelings for very much longer. With this full moon in Capricorn, they're going to want to sort of let the cat out of the bag, so to speak, okay? The Ace of Cups represents a cup of love that's filled to overflowing to the brim. And they're feeling so much love for you that it's just going to overflow. And they're not going to be able to hide it for very much longer. This card right here, the Four of Wands, shows a stable life that you and your person have created this is the card of stability of a home um, a feeling of home it's the card of marriage joy and happiness and just general stability in your life so although i feel like you know you already have all of these wonderful things going on for you stability happiness joy and blessings when this person makes their way towards you you're going to have even more of that these feelings of peace and happiness and if you look at this card this the skeleton's literally dancing for joy he's so excited and happy to be moving on and moving forward with this cup of love they're going to offer their cup of love Okay, and this is my um, beauty of horror deck. <laughs> Lately, I've been feeling very connected to my dark side. That's why you see, you know, my sort of my skulls, which I love my skulls, and you know my 
god of death and transformation <laughs> oh lord all right so we're gonna pull three more cards i'm gonna put these cards back just in case we have any actually no i'm gonna move on to a different tarot deck and see if we have um repeating energies this is um my tarot of the heart psychic tarot of the heart by john holland all right but let's see if we have any of the same repeating energies same cards Spirit likes to do that if the message is very important so that's why i use different decks all right what, what else do we need to know about this Capricorn full moon what is it going to bring in for those that are in the twin flame soulmate cycle right now there we go my hands are so small it's really hard to shuffle this deck so funny and sort of embarrassing, didn't it? But I have tiny hands. Okay. All right. Three cards, please. Oop, there's your first card. See how that flip card flew out? This one flipped. It's number seven. I'm going to take it because it's seven. Choose your battles. We have number nine, well-deserved reward. Awesome. Can we get one more card, Spirit? So the well-deserved reward is, um, you know, basically Spirit's way of saying you've earned this love. Oh, I told you, look, six of cups, simply love. Look at that. This is um, cups. I think this is, I want to say this is wands and this is, oh my goodness, I can't remember. This might be pentacles. This might be wands. Um, but six of cups, simply love. So this is spirit's way of saying you've done your work and now you're getting your well-deserved reward. You've earned this love. You've earned this love. You've put in the work. You've earned this love. Okay. <clears throat> um, but they want you to choose your battles wisely i think this is seven of wands i'm going to look it up to make sure but this card is about not fighting off everyone who wants to fight you not everyone who comes to you for a battle is worth fighting okay pick and choose your battles decide what is worth fighting for who is worth fighting for <clears throat> and what is worth fighting what is worth fighting when it comes to your union? So um, if you need to, you know, maybe, for example, fight your twin flame or your um, soulmate's family because they believe that you guys shouldn't be together, then by all means, do so because... Um, you guys are the ones that are going to be in, in this relationship loving each other. It's nobody's business who you love, okay? Let me say that again. It is nobody's business who you love. And they are not going to be loving on or sleeping with or making love to or spending day in and day out with your person. You are. And vice versa. They are going to be spending time with you. So nobody should be getting involved in your relationship or who you love or they should not be judging you for who you love because at the end of the day you're going to be the one living with that choice of your person so they have no say in it whatsoever you know think about it we don't tell people who to love so why should our family tell us who to love so therefore decide you know what you want to fight for is it worth fighting for okay and this is love so it says simply love. It's six of cups. So this represents, you know, deep soulmate connection. It represents childhood love, childhood trauma, being healed. It's the card of, you know, extended family. So, you know, it could be the birth of a child. It could be adopting a child. For some of you, it's going to be literal pregnancy. And for others of you, it's going to be, you know, becoming pregnant with child. For some of you, it's going to be you and your partner bringing your families together. So one or 
the other have children and you're going to be bringing your children together or you know you have a child or two and your partner is going to help you raise your child okay so i'm gonna look up i think this is nine of pentacles i just want to um <clears throat> let us know exactly what those cards are for your guys's um For your guys' information. So this is, it says physical red border. This is pentacles. So this is nine of pentacles, which, you know, it's, it's being recognized for a job well done. It's, you know, um, putting in the hard work and finally, finally getting, um, the rewards of your healing that you've done thus far, right? Because the healing journey never ends, but you've come far enough in your healing journey to be able to experience spiritual love and higher love. Okay, one second. Hi, sorry about that, guys. Okay, <clears throat> mom duty. And then we have, let's see, seven. I believe that is a seven of wands. Yes, it is. So this is seven of wands. Um, you know, it's the card in the tarot deck where the person is standing up on like um, a higher level and there's all these wands. There's people trying to fight them. It's people just being general haters and trying to knock this person off their pedestal. When it comes to your person, do not let anyone else try to tell you how to love your person. Um, because once this well-deserved reward comes in, Everyone's going to put their opinions in of why they think you guys shouldn't be together or why they think this and why they think that. And, you know, people generally do that because they're unhappy and they want to see other people unhappy. Don't let them get in the way of your divine love. Okay. And we all know what that is. That's the six of cups. So, all right. So that's that for those. Um, two. We are going to, <clears throat> I am going to pick a healing card for us. What do we need to know about this twin flame soulmate cycle? on what is this capricorn full moon going to bring in for our healing or <clears throat> this love cycle what is it that we need to know about ourselves or about this union Ooh, the energy feels a little stuck in this the healing section. Oop, there it goes. Woo, that one flew out. All right. So, goodness gracious. This card is going to make me want to throw up. So, this card is patience. <laughs> oh, do I hate that word? I'm just kidding. I love patience. All right. So, patience, patience. Um, 23. It's number 23. Three and two is five. They're asking all of us to be patient it's on the way but it is so hard I know I know it is it is so hard to be patient when you want what you want when you want it right but spirit is saying if you be patient and sit with your hand out and open your gift is on the way this card is not wanting to <clears throat> your gift is on the way so please be patient. There we go. Please be patient because spirit is sending you everything that you need for your heart's desire. You just have to trust that it's on the way. Keep that heart open. Keep that hand open. You know, trust all of this growth that is happening. Um, keep making those wishes in the wishing well. Trust the seasons of your life. Um, and... Be patient because all is well and all is happening in divine timing. 
beautiful okay um we are going to pull one of these cards which is the Bodhi tarot do you do you do whoa that one flew out all right let's do this one we're gonna only do two of these because whoa um i can only fit two <laughs> because they're shapes parts okay your heart chakra is unbalanced you may be heartbroken or dealing with heartbreak use this time to surround yourself with people that uplift you so there may be a general energy of heartbreak right now i know me myself personally I took a very hard emotional heartbreak this following um, April or not April, June, and it knocked me for a loop because I was not expecting to fall in love, much less to um, feel all of those deep emotions. And it had been a very long time, you know, and so. <clears throat> when you do get a heartbreak like that, it's because of expectations and it's about, you know, things and wishes, needs not being fulfilled. So if we can get past that and see down to the real lessons and the real unconditional love, then we can sort of heal that trauma of heartbreak. Um, if we can go into love not having expectations and just allowing our person to just love us how they would love us, then we can heal that past heartbreak and sort of move forward so that you can be open for the gifts that the universe will be sending your way and they will be sending pure love your way. We already, we already realized that when we saw the other cards, right? Okay, so it says, your love life has been complicated, all for very good reasons. You must learn these lessons to attract the love you deserve. See, <laughs> I told you all is well. I was just saying that if you can look past the heartbreak to the lesson, then, you know, you can attract the love that you deserve, right? Those lessons, we have to go through them as a collective so that we can heal those traumas so that when our true love comes in, when the other half of our soul comes in, when our soulmate comes in, we're ready for them. You know, we've, we've healed all of that trauma, those past heartbreaks, those um, we've gotten out of toxicity, we've gotten out of codependency, we've moved forward and into our best, highest self and our highest timeline. So all has a purpose. Trust that everything that is happening is happening for your highest good because it is. Okay, so we're going to do some character traits um, with this deck, the Who Oracle from, from V Love Crystals. We're going to do three of these, please. Spirit Guides, my beautiful Anubis, Thoth, and Source. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for your messages. Uh, Anubis keeps going in and out here. Did you see that? He's heavy in this room, dude. <laughs> that transformational energy all right can we get three of these please and then we're going to end with my lemurian love oracle and call it a reading i guess i hope you guys enjoyed this reading guys Woo! so we have confident all right so your person is confident they might be a fire sign they might be a leo that is a lion on there <laughs> if you guys want to book a reading with me click on the little arrow by my <clears throat> underneath my videos um by the description box Ooh, we got earth sign okay um and it pops up my um all of my information it'll pop up my website which is chakrabunnytarot.com or you can just 
type in www.chakramoneytarot.com. That's my website. It makes it super easy for you to book a reading. Um, my Patreon's underneath there. My Etsy shop's there. My son's channel's there. Um, my um, PayPal and um, my Cash App, if you guys want to tip me. Tipping me helps me to continue these readings for you guys. Because as you know, this is my only job. This is what I do. And I love doing it. I don't want to give it up. So continue to support my channel and I'll continue to support your growth. We have a beautiful symbiotic relationship, guys. All right. Oh, God. And I'm so grateful for those of you who tipped me already and joined me on Patreon. Last card. Okay. So we have Earth Sign. This card, your person is possibly an Earth Sign. Um, so Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And I feel like they're very, um, they're very hermit energy. This, this house in the background sort of reminds me of like hermit energy, but it's not a negative hermit because if you look here, they're very confident. So I feel like your person is very choosy as to who they give their social energy to. It's not that they're antisocial. They're just like particularly social. Like they choose who to spend their time with, if that makes sense. All right. And then we have 50s or older. So for some of you, your person is very well seasoned. Now, this doesn't mean that they're old, not by any means. I mean, I'm going to be 42 this year. So and I do not feel old by any means at all. And I'm sure that people in their 50s or older do not feel old. It's never about age. Age is just a number. It's it's all about how old you feel. Now, there's some people that are in their 20s, I know, that feel way older than their age. So it's about that feeling of how you feel in your heart. Are you young at heart? I'm guaranteeing your person is an old soul. Now, this could be their age or it could be like they're an old soul. Either way, someone that is in their 50s or older is very wise and very seasoned. And they have a lot of lessons and life lessons under their belt. So that is a plus to me. Anyone that's 50 or over has a lot to show us about life because they experienced so much. So that is a positive in my eyes and it's an amazing thing. And if you look here, it's a couple here, you know, an older couple and they seem very happy. One second. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Um, this Capricorn full moon has my children bouncing off the walls. Ah. All right, look at that. It's so funny how Anubis goes in and out. Oh, maybe it's just because, no? I was going to say it's because I put my cards in front and it's trying to focus on these, but I just did it and it was fine. Look, watch. So it's not that. I feel like that's his energy. Okay, so we are going to pull three cards <clears throat> here from my Lemurian Love deck and we're going to call this reading because my children are getting antsy. This is reading number two. I've done <clears throat> two readings in a row tonight, and they're like, we're irritated. We want mommy. So <laughs> I have to get back to them. Okay, what is the final message that um, wants to come out from our twin souls or soulmates, please? Woo. Whoa, that card came out very quickly. <laughs> that's Union. Can you guys see that? Wow, that's incredible. Let me just show you this card because the artwork is beautiful. It was done by Kimber Kiss Cosmic Queen. She also has her own YouTube channel. Her channel is always linked in my description box below. She's a phenomenally talented digital artist and she did the artwork for this deck and it's absolutely stunning. You can see how... These mermaids are sort of glowing. It's beautiful. Um, it's union. <laughs> so I, it's so funny because during my 777 um, video, I did say that I felt like this was the timeline when the twin souls that are on my timeline, the same timeline as me, Meaning we've all sort of been on the same timeline timeline and same journey together. Um, that we, it is our turn and we are going to be getting into union. Because this is what I was told by my guides. And so there it is. There is the, there is the 
confirmation that I was telling you guys about. All right. My dearest friend, if you don't mind, I'd like to join you by your side. And that is a quote by Jack Skeleton from The Nightmare Before Christmas. This is the quote that Jack says to Sally when he um, comes towards her in the end. So this is a friendship which turns into love. It's friendship on fire, right? One sec. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I have one more card and then um, we're going to call this reading. But so this is the card <clears throat> um, of this is my Jack Skeleton card. So it's this is what Jack Skeleton says to Sally, um, his best friend, before he comes to be her lover. So, you know, they are best friends and. Sally has feelings for him, but cannot let him know how she feels. And fortunately, Jack feels the same way. And in the end, he um, confesses his feelings for Sally by saying, My dearest friend, if you don't mind, I'd like to join you by your side. And then they sit together under the moon and experience pure bliss and pure love. I love that movie. If you've never seen The Nightmare Before Christmas, guys, I just, I um, heavily recommend it. It's a beautiful, beautiful um, movie. Very fun. And it has a dark side as well. Last card we have is I Remember You. So this is definitely two souls who have known each other before. Hold on. Okay, I have to close out this reading because my little guy needs to be changed. But I wanted to close this by saying this is definitely two souls who remember each other. There's Now, you and your person may not remember each other physically, but your souls remember each other. So when you close your eyes and feel into those feelings of, of um, love and just close your eyes and feel in general those feelings that you feel when you're with this certain someone, this certain someone that's on your mind, your soul recognizes them and their soul recognizes yours. And so therefore you remember each other. You probably had millions and billions and trillions of lifetimes together loving each other. And when you reincarnated, your souls remember and it never forgets. And, you know, you've possibly found each other through each lifetime. In fact, I'm sure that you have. And so their heart, their soul recognizes yours. Their energy recognizes yours. And so when you're with them, it will feel like home. And that's how you'll know that this is your person. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. And I'm going to call this a reading. Love you guys. Bye.